decided to start a new series called Tightwad Tuesdays. Guys, I realize that every single thing we do in our lives pretty much is some way, shape, or form of saving money. And I think a lot of people just don't realize that it is a lifestyle. It's not about just cutting a few coupons out in the Sunday paper and going to the grocery store. It's about every single thing you do. So I decided to film a day in the life of a Tightwad, and this is just a few of the things that I did. Yes, that is snow. The first thing I did was make some French toast out of some gluten-free and regular homemade bread that we didn't end up finishing. I fried it in my frying pan with my bacon grease and for the gluten-free dairy-free version I used some homemade rice milk and my homemade gluten-free sandwich bread. Both of these guys are in my gluten-free dairy-free dining on a dime cookbook which is on sale in the description below. You can see this was super tasty, super yummy, absolutely loved it. Next I took an old picture that I've had for a couple of years. I painted the frame black originally and then with the move and everything it got all scuffed up so I decided that I wanted to paint it brown so I painted the trim around the picture brown and left the black original border. So then I took a black marker and filled in the little spots that got dinged up of the black just so I didn't have to pull out the paint and I just took a black Sharpie and did that. Guys, let me tell you, having a Sharpie of every color for things like this, you can touch up shirts that get a little bleach spot, whatever. Just have a Sharpie of every color and you can do little touch ups like this without a big hoo-ha. Next, I got the picture hung over the stairs. We do not have a stair ladder yet. Yes, I was probably taking my life in my own hands, so I would probably not recommend doing this, but you guys know me. I just go ahead and do it anyway. I have no idea how I managed to do that in one try. Looks really good. Next, I thought I had filmed making this wreath, and apparently I did not hit record, and I thought I did. So I had these flowers that were a dollar from a thrift store, and I hot glued them on a wreath that needed some refreshing. Got it hung up outside and it looks absolutely beautiful for just two dollars the wreath was a dollar and the flowers were a dollar you cannot beat that for two dollars then i decided to go on a road trip and i had to run to walmart and get a couple of things and as i was on the way my friend texted me and asked if i wanted some free apples i said sure well come to find out it was further away than she had thought and I was already on that side of town so I decided to drive out there I got the free apples pick them up on the drive back I remembered that the people that we bought this house from lived out there and she told me that she had some flower seeds if I wanted to grab them sometime when I was out that way so I called her to see if she was home and I could pick them up and sure enough she had all of these marigold and zinnia and cosmos for me that I was able to get some starts from her and then next year I'm going to plant them all around on a hill outside that we need to get filled in so that it's not washing away and hopefully I can get all these flowers and have like a wildflower garden on that hill. Thank you so much Amy! On the drive home I stopped my mom's gave her the apples and while i was there decided to fill her fingernail polish remover with the acetone that we got i think it was free i can't remember if it was free or a dollar from the garage sale i had already used some so i took it over to her house and filled her polish container with it guys check and see sometimes the acetone in the paint section is a whole lot cheaper than the polish section although i am noticing that right now it seems like the polish section is actually cheaper than the paint so do your research then as i was driving home i remembered that albertson's had hamburger on sale and hamburger and some pork so i ran to the grocery store got a bunch of things and when i got home i realized i did not have the hamburger so i did go back the next day to re-pick up the hamburger but that's all right and when i got home the dryer was not working so i went and looked in the manual to see what the possibility of the problems could be they said a clogged vent so i went and swept out the vent with my dryer sweeper the link is in the description below if you guys want to get one I got some out, not a ton or anything that probably would have clogged it. Considering our, our dryer vent is probably 15 feet long, Jack take the shot back, we reversed it, put it on the end of the vent, had him blow it out so I could see if air was coming out. Sure enough, it was. So then I realized there was something wrong with the dryer and we were going to have to call the repairman. But at least I tried. 
And now my vents are all nice and clean. So these are the things that I do on a typical day as a tight wad to save money. So I'm gonna start showing you guys weekly things that we do every day. Please comment below and tell me what you did to save money today. A lot of things are just normal and I don't even think about doing them, but they are saving money and it's just a part of my life. Please go watch this video next on my thousand dollar thrift store find. We will see you guys next time livingonadime.com.